So this is the North Era uh, midden site, and we can see that the, the midden site is quite extensive. It extends all the way through there, um, on, on, that, um, on that ridge there, down there, all the way around. And what we can see again, that it's got um, southeasterly protection um, from that ridge there. Um, if I tilt down, we can see it's got, a, it's got a fresh water course. If I swing the camera around to my right, we can see that there is um, part of a swamp, a swamp land here. So there may have been some freshwater mollusks and things like that. Um, definitely kangaroos, because we can see some deer in there. Um, so that may have been a bit of a fertile hunting ground to, um, to kind of uh, um, hunt kangaroos. Now if I swing the camera around, what we can see is just under there is, um, is a rock platform. So that would have been the place where um, they would have collected and um, harvested um, various crustaceans and things like that, transporting them back to this site, um, this midden site, um, to, to feast and share them communally. We're outside the, uh, the fence which is protecting uh, this, this large midden and I just wanted to have a look on the outskirts and just see if we can, um, can find anything in this uh, sort of this uh, part of the middle side which is uh, outside of the uh, fence. So it doesn't really take long being in a midden site to find um, to find some kind of example of uh, um, human occupation and what we've got here is, um, is a bit of quartz and um, you can see that this quartz has been broken off a larger core and is almost in the form of a blade. You can see that the, the uh, marginal edge is quite sharp. Um, probably hasn't had any retouching occur. But, um, we can see from this uh, particular sample being quartz that it probably would have traveled some distance because the um, geology of the area that we're in is uh, it's made up mostly of siltstone and, um, and sandstone from the um, late Permian, um, beginning of the Jurassic. So um, quartz such as this um, existed further down, down the coast and um, was part of glacial meltwater systems that um, washed chunks of quartz and other rock um, Along with the uh, along with the ice, so this has uh, come up probably uh, 40, 20, 20 to 50 kilometres, I'd say. Right beside that last bit, I'll just get focus on it. And this one's quite interesting. If I turn it over, what you will see is that it's had small. Let's get, check the focus on that. Small retouching all the way along that marginal edge. And you can see that this uh, could have been used as some kind of scraper. Now I've mentioned in the past that I think these were used to remove the internal organs of the various mollusks and things like that by scraping and cutting them out of, the, of their shells. And um, that's probably what a tool like this would have been used for. You can see there has been various retouching that's occurred all the way along that marginal edge. One there, one there, 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 there. And that may have been done by soft hammer percussion, but more likely due to pressure flaking. And within the same area, I've only moved the camera about two feet and it's not hard to find other examples of um, stone tool manufacture and this we can see is um, has part of the cortex or the outside of the original core um, after it's been broken off and we can see that it is um, sandstone we can see the, uh, the quartz crystals and other um, other sort of crystal structures in there and so this has probably not been the best um, best rock of choice um, but nevertheless it may have been a broken fragment um, for some other kind of purpose. Right beside that, get 
that focus on it is um, another flake. We can see this has been removed from a corp, possibly through the production of making um, blade or bladelets, and uh, this is probably just a discarded flake. However, saying that, unless these small notches here are part of the fracture planes, then these may have been um, retouched. However, it's a little hard to discern. So I think what we've got here is another example of um, just the outside cortex of a core. It's, um, or a flake that's been broken off uh, a larger core and we can see the outside cortex um, of this. So I just spotted this one, I just did a quick walk around because um, there's actually not much to see outside of the fence here, a lot of it's been trodden um, on, but I found this, which um, if I get the focus again on it, we can see has um, again um, been broken off a larger core, but what's interesting about it is that we can see how various other flakes have been removed. Um, On, um, on both sides. However, there doesn't appear to be any discernible um, sort of marginal edge that's been used. However, I guess you may be able to um, interpret some other either soft um, hammer percussion or some pressure flaking that's occurred. Um, along this edge. However, we can see that it has um, got various um, various ripple marks um, due to um, percussion flaking um, within the um, ventral or interior surface of this of this small small flake. So it doesn't really take very long to find something of interest and I came across this. And it looks like it's been um, broken off a larger core. As you can see, that uh, there's no discernible cortex um, or uh, oxidization that's occurred on the, um, on the outside. And when I first picked this up, I, I thought there's not really much going on, but on closer inspection, we have a look down this marginal edge here. What we can see is that there's small kind of serrations um, within the uh, on the edge itself. So that is an indication, possibly, that um, this edge here here has been reworked, and we can see that uh, various pressure flaking has occurred um, in a few spots um, along along this flake edge. So we can see that this is quite an extensive site, and um, this would have provided quite a um, quite a large number of feasts um, throughout the years. And um, what we've got here is uh, we can see on the outside there's weathering, so that's part of the cortex of the original core, and we can see that this has been flaked off, and. We've got um, we've got an edge here, and although it doesn't look like it's been greatly retouched, however, there are various serrations all the way along there. Um, that but that may be due to how the rock fractured um, when it was removed from the core. Um, however, 
being in its current form, it may have been useful enough to gouge out the um, internal organs um, or cut out the um, the animal from the from the shell, from the limpet shells and things like that. So if I find a shell, um, if I can find an intact one here. <clears throat> You can see that a tool like this would have been used to, if I can get that in focus and in the light, um, used to gouge out, used to gouge out the, uh, the internal part of the shell. Keeping the camera in the same position, found something else. I mean, it's not super fascinating, but um, we've got. Um, get that to focus. Um, we've got another small flake that's been removed from a core and this may again have been um, an attempt at removing some kind of blade. Probably this hasn't been used however most of these tools um, in the midden sites are opportunistic so if they're sitting next to something that could be fashioned into a tool or is sharp enough to to do the job then I'd say it was probably used. So tilting the camera up, just a, just a small amount. Um, uh, there's another bit of quartz and this has um, been water tumbled. You can see that the outside's fairly smooth and round. Um, again, there isn't a great deal of quartz like this found naturally in the area. Um, it occurs further south um, as it's been passed down through glacial meltwater systems in uh, the various Permian siltstone layers um, and deposited via ice rifting and um, or dropstone deposits and things like that. But uh, what we can see here is that um, this may possibly have been a small core and somebody may have attempted to remove flakes from here but we can see that it's got various imperfections and they look like they probably did not succeed in getting a nice sharp uh, flake um, or some kind of blade or scraper from this this small core. Another thing to have a look at when you have a look at these midden sites is these sandstones that have been used um, around fires for cooking and you can see in various examples um, they have been um, or they've still retained part of the um, part of the heating that's occurred and the discoloration um, due to the heating process. And they predominantly use sandstone because some of the other harder rocks, um, the igneous rocks are okay, but some of the um, metamorphic rocks, if they have cracks, um, and things like that running through it, if water gets into that and it's uh, placed near the fire it can explode whereas sandstone is a little bit more porous and that water can evaporate and um, be less of a hazard around a fire. So there isn't many examples of flakes and scrapers and things like that that I wanted to show you. So I just came across this and it's interesting because it does tell a story and what we can see is that it is a piece of basalt and the area that I'm in at the moment doesn't naturally have forming basalt within the various um, stratigraphical layers and um, the, this would probably have originated from down south um, in areas like um, Kayama and, and Jerengong and things like that where in the past or in the middle early Permian there was um, various volcanic activity that occurred. So this has been transported to this location um, and possibly or has been um, removed from a larger core and um, what we can see here is a, a flake ridge um, where um, percussion flaking has removed a flake from there. However, um, I wouldn't say this tool would have been used, it's probably just a discarded core fragment. Okay, this will probably be the last one I'll show you at this particular site, um, or this exposed part of the smitten site here. And 
And what we've got is a hard rock, um, I think something like shirt, but I'm not quite sure. And what we can see is that there may have been possible um, retouching that's occurred along this edge, this marginal edge here. We can tell that via these very small negative bulbs of percussion right in there. Over they're very small, but uh, this may have been um, reworked and retouched, and um, just uh, just someone's had a how to play with this edge here, however they may not have done the best job, but uh, there has been um, some kind of, some kind of uh, retouching that's occurred.